and it would have been just a horrific experience at the very end, and there wouldn't be anything that anyone could do about it, unfortunately. Tonight, the search for answers following a deadly plane crash in the Northwoods. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Langbed. And I'm Brad Hansen. We now know three people have died and federal investigators remain on scene. News 9's Adriana Don Daniel was in Forest County all day. She joins us from Hiles. The road leading to the Franklin campground behind me has been closed as officials are looking through the wreckage of Tuesday's fatal plane crash. But people who were here at that time tell me the issues began in the sky. And it sounded, you know, it was up here and it was like, boom, boom. And I went, that's an engine that just blew up. Daniel Kirsch recounts the minutes early Tuesday morning while he was staying at the Franklin Lakes campground. Um, I heard an engine sputtering and then I heard one explosion and then another explosion. Immediately he knew something was wrong. And I said, that sounds like an airplane. That sounds like an airplane. It's got engine trouble. Authorities say the plane took off from the Rylander Oneida County Airport just before 9 a.m., crashing not long after into a swampy area north of Hills. Kirsch says he saw investigators traveling through the area after the crash and one helicopter flying above. Just one that we noticed and it was circling, circled around the lake, went north, came back, and it was circling southeast. The Federal Aviation Administration has confirmed three people died in the crash. The cause? Still unknown. Investigators on site with the National Transportation Safety Board will be using radar data, weather reports, the pilot's flight history, and more to try to piece together what brought the plane down. The NTSB says they will be in the area for the next two to three days, combing the forest for anything that could give them an answer. We are still waiting on more information from the FAA and the NTSB. That preliminary report can take up to a few weeks to get. In Forest County, Adriana Daniel, News 9, WAOW.